Hey guys, thanks for doing live. Hello, I'm Aaron Wreckage. I'm Jeremiah. And we are 814 Academy. And, uh, you know, we want to talk a little bit about, you know, what we are and what we do here. But first, I think we got to do a little introduction. So we want to talk about a little bit how we met. So uh, I am the executive director at the Meadville Area Recreation Complex. And I was looking for learn to skate instructors. And uh, I put a little Facebook post out looking for some instructors. And uh, this big guy here, uh, you know, he has responded uh, very kindly to the response. And why don't you tell a little bit about that story and how yeah. that happened? Yeah. Um, so my mom is huge into Facebook. You know how moms are. Um, and she was like, hey, I just saw this post. You know, you're just doing a couple of things here and there. Why don't you get another side hustle? And uh, I said, okay, mom, I'll do it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, send an email. Aaron was quick with her response and came in. He asked me if I could skate. I said, I hope so. <laughs> and, I did ask that question. Yeah, yeah and uh, got on the ice, and the rest was pretty much it from there. Yeah. Yep. So Jeremiah came in. It was an awesome uh, response. You know, we didn't have really a hockey section of our learn to skate. It was more of the figure skaters uh, that were teaching the uh, learn to skate. And then Jeremiah came in, and between the Little Penguins and Jeremiah, we started the 814 Academy. Both of us, we actually co-head coached the Squirt A Major 3 uh, team here at the Crawford County Flames. Yeah. I also run the Adult Learn to Play here, and I also run the Little Penguins. Yeah. Um, like Aaron said, we're doing U10s right now with uh, our travel team. And uh, right now I'm doing 814 Academy, pretty much any camp there is. Um, and he kicks my butt in the adult learning play, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a good skater. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, we're doing power skating, shooting, um, stick handling. Uh, we do checking clinics. Um, pretty much anything you can think of hockey-related. Hockey IQ stuff, a lot of small area games. Hockey's not just about two hours a week. It's about a lifestyle. It's about a lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of those sports you can play forever. Yeah. I mean, I'm 40 years old. I'm still playing at a decent level. And yeah. you're, what, 22? 25. 25, yeah, yeah, 25. What a pup. And, uh, and he plays. <laughs> and he's on the ice way more than that. So it is a lifelong game, and we, you know, we want to foster that. So yeah. I think that's one of the main reasons we wanted to. And we wanted to get some more elite players for yeah. one for. Yeah. Bringing good hockey into the area has been, I don't want to say a problem, but... Uh, fostering an environment where these kids can come in, succeed, play at a high level, play whatever level they want to play at, and also learn things off the ice. Um, we say at A1 Forts, better humans, better hockey. So, yep. um, yeah. And we try to create a nice, uh, you know, family atmosphere where the kids feel comfortable, but they know that, you know, when it's time to come to work, it's time to come to work. Oh, yeah. So, yep. uh, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about our philosophies in uh, coaching and just hockey in general. I know I'm a big stickler for coming to the rink and you're ready to work, you know, constantly oh, yeah. moving. You know, we don't want to see you leaning on the boards. We don't want to see you not being hockey ready. And this guy here, he is a stickler for hockey ready. Yeah. So for you hockey players out there, it is very important for your coach to know that you are ready to learn. So why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I guess where it comes from is um, ice is expensive. <laughs> it, it, is. it is. I mean, it's, it's you know parents are paying good money or you're paying good money to get out there and go to work so if kids aren't ready or they're looking at uh, the stands and not paying attention or talking to their parents talking to their parents I get I get on them <laughs> <laughs> I want them to I want them to succeed so um, if they're doing that it's hard to succeed when you're distracted so when you're on the ice you're ready you're next up in line you're in ready position um, yeah uh, I'm huge on that so yeah. that's my biggest biggest uh, thing so and one thing that really attracted us together to start some things was you know our philosophy for you know speed and skill of hockey it is a major transformation from the 70s to now if you watch players in the 70s it was more about you know the brawling and, and being big and physically strong and now looking at the AHL and the NHL and even the kids here in the PAHL it you know speed kills and it, it happened this this weekend at our game you know we were way faster than the other team we don't know if we were more skilled than them but you know our skating just you know tired them out and they started making mistakes in the third 
and we ended up winning the game. So, you know, my philosophy is skating and speed kills, yep. and uh, I, I think that's one of the big 814 philosophies that we have. Yeah, and we're not just talking about physical speed, we're also talking about taking that information quickly, thinking about it, and then reacting to that information, right? right? So, I mean, it's not just, okay, if you're not the fastest skater, then you better be the fastest thinker. So that's, that's kind of what we focus on. Yeah, we do talk a lot about that. Talk about, you know, the variables that happen. There are a million scenarios on which something can happen. You know, you have to be able to know what you're going to do with the puck before it even comes to you to find that good ice and bad ice. Yep. And speaking of good ice and bad ice, uh, one of Jeremiah's philosophies is, is very much the concept of good ice and bad ice. So I'm going to let him talk a little bit about that. Yeah, good ice and bad ice. So for that, we want to focus, on, especially if we're on the defensive end, we never want the puck carrier have a free shot at the at the goal. Absolutely. If we're behind the defenseman or the puck, and the, the puck's in between us and the goalie, then we have bad ice. If we're in between the, the puck and the goaltender, our goaltender, then we have good ice. Um, and it's a really simple concept for the kids to get, you know, good and bad, uh, if you're on the right side of the puck or on the wrong side of the puck. So, just a lot of simple messaging, um, and that's one of the easiest ways to, you know, start teaching hockey IQ. Um, yeah, for that, it's just, you know, we always want to have good ice, and yep. uh, we want the other team to have bad ice when we have the puck. That's so, right. So getting to those areas and fighting for those areas, um, we really focus on that. Like, oh, we yeah. stress communication, communication, communication. For any of you youth players out there, the faster you can get comfortable yelling and talking to people on the ice, I think the better off you're going to be, especially going up through those small ages, U10, U12, because uh, by the time you get to U14, if you can't communicate in the ice, uh, you're going to get lit up a couple times coming across the middle. So, yeah. you know, just make sure that, uh, you know, what you're doing is fostering good hockey. You know, for all you coaches that are watching out there, make sure that the players know that, you know, becoming a family and not squabbling between players and fostering that environment will get your team to start playing uh, better hockey and trusting each other. Uh, trust is a huge thing that we oh, talk yeah. about, especially at our video or our uh, film sessions. We talk about trust. So they have to be able to trust each teammate equally or it doesn't work. So, you know, that's that's one of our biggest and last philosophies that I have to talk yeah. about. Yeah. And going off of Aaron, the kids that can't communicate become elite quicker and can get to higher levels quicker because they're already used to talking. They're used to saying, hey, you got one on you or, hey, I'm open or hey, move there, do this, do that, whatever. The kids that can do that just succeed quicker. So, I mean, one of the things we stress, well, the three things we stress every game is, are you having fun, are you communicating, and are you working hard? And those are our three pillars, I would say. And we know you're going to get better if you do those three yeah. things. I mean, it's just, it, it's absolutely natural if you can learn to do those three things that you're going to become a better hockey player. We can tell you to in blue in the face, dump and chase, or, you know, give you strategies. But if you're having fun and you're communicating uh, and you're working hard, you're going to become a better hockey player. So, well, let's let's lighten it up a little bit. You know, we talked about eight one four and you know what we're going to do. Let's talk about a little bit about us. So, who is your favorite hockey player, Jeremiah? Well, uh, I'm a American hockey uh, player fan, so okay. I would say uh, Patrick Kane has been for a long time. But I think Austin Matthews is coming up quick. He's a natural goal scorer. I think he's the next elite goal scorer of the league. You know, Ovechkin's kind of, you know, phasing out a little bit. I mean, he's still scoring 50 goals. That. He's scoring 50 <laughs> goals. So. But he is getting older, and I think Austin Matthews is poised to take the mantle, if you will. No, I agree. So. I agree. Um, it, but why? What, what's about him, what's about Austin that really just, you look at him and go, wow, I, you know, I want to be like him, or what does he do off the ice that maybe, yeah. you know, you've noticed, you know, in your little research? There's a few things. Um, one, the way he gets the puck on his stick and then can release it real quick for a shot, I think that's very admirable. Especially a lot of young kids should be watching him, how he uses the puck, uses his body, gets to the open areas, gets his hips around him, gets the stick ready for a shot, and then gets in, getting it on net as quick as possible. It's unbelievable. And then second thing, um, he just seems like a funny dude. Like I follow him <laughs> on Instagram. Uh, he did a, a video for GQ, and I thought that was really, you know, cool. Um, stuff like that. So I just think he's relatable, um, and he's American. So I, I, it's just natural. Just natural. Yeah, I like yeah. him. Yeah. Interesting. So, so uh, Aaron, I have a question for you. Okay. What 
what other sports do you play besides hockey? Uh, I, I love baseball. Baseball is my passion. Um, you know, just everything about the strategy about behind it, you know, just the, the different positions, everything that's going on between the pitches. Yeah. And just, it's a, it's a good pastime. So I, I think that that is very admirable to, you know, they, they keep their players to, high, to a higher standard, especially when it comes yeah. to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, you have to be a good person. It's not like the NFL where you can, you can do maybe some things and it's just about your play on the field. It's about encompassing your whole entire life. Yeah. And I, that's why what attracted me to baseball and also what attracted me to hockey. Yeah. You notice that the demeanors and the morals of the players in hockey and the players in baseball are very much similar. So yeah. I think that's what really attracted me to the hockey. But baseball is my first love yeah. and always will be. Did you play as a kid? Oh, yes. Yeah. I've been playing. I still play in ad adult league oh, in wow. the summertime. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, we play double headers on Sunday mornings. Oh. And uh, I'm getting a little older now. Yeah. Can't can't take those college pitchers. So I guess I'm gonna have to graduate yeah. to the forty and over <laughs> over league the next year. So yeah. Oh my god. So uh, you know, one more thing. What what is a hobby that you would do outside of hockey? Hobby that I would do outside of hockey. Um, Besides playing NHL on the, on, the PS4. I'm a big video game guy. Um, but I would say I really enjoy comedy and TV shows. And like something I still kind of do is me and my buddies kind of kick around ideas for TV shows all the time. Oh, nice! So, so get ready. There's going to be a so, blooper reel on yeah. eight one four at some point. <laughs> Star Jeremiah, yeah, yeah, just me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say maybe like comedy. I don't know. Um, you want to do stand up comedy? Not or stand up. Just like... I, I think I think writing a TV show would be really cool. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, writing a TV be, show. That's pro that's probably like if I'm not doing hockey. I'm going to be famous writer for a nice. TV show. I'm yeah. terrible writer. Right? I, I can so, act for you, yeah. Oh, well, but there's I, no way I can write for you. You, you, you don't yeah, want that. Exactly. So, um, you know, if there's stuff you want to know about us, please, you know, in the comments below, please, you know, ask those com or questions, and we'll try to answer them as much as possible. Um, you know, Jeremiah, I wanted to thank you for you know coming into my life and really fostering hockey and helping me grow the mark um, and me as a person. I yeah. think it's been. A great journey so far. We've known each other for about a year. No, it's just almost. I think twenty nineteen, January twenty nineteen. Wow, I think. So, so two years. Two years. It's gone really fast. Uh, we're doing some exciting things. We have a U eight to square camp coming up here. We have some checking clinics coming up. And we're gonna have plenty of videos coming out. We're gonna try and get one out a week. Yep. And uh, some off ice stuff in the summertime. Yeah. So you know, stuff. any questions you may have or anything that we can help you with hockey wise. I don't care if you're from Alberta, Canada, or if you're from Russia or Australia. We have some Australia hockey players that I know of too. So and I, American hockey players, my my guys, but. Of course, Canadians, <laughs> Russians, Finlands. Finlands? Finlands. Fin Finnish? Finnish. <laughs> Blooper roll. <laughs> Real. Uh, but yeah, just ask us questions. We're, we're here to help. We're here to make better hockey. So, um, yeah. Well, thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, I hope this introduction wasn't too long, but uh, we'll be back here next week with some things we're going to do on the ice. And uh, you know, hopefully that blooper will be good too. So, well, thanks for checking us out. Please like and share, subscribe, and make sure that uh, you know you're doing your best deal. Remember, communication, hard work, have fun. All right, we'll see you guys next time.